hi guys it's Femi here um today I just wanted to talk to you guys about k-pop idols and the deceptions and you know how they present one image to the public and to their fans and how they are really something else behind the scenes and it's all part of this end times agenda of satan's to distract the world from what we should be focusing on right now which is Christ's return so as you all know I already had you know a couple of dreams about blackpink right and in this video the focus is going to be on lisa but i'm going to talk about a couple of foreign celebrities as well so after i had my dreams about lisa i found out that she had actually spoken about the spiritual warfare she's going through um she's talked about sleep paralysis and her being scared of hearing ghosts and stuff like that but you know because these people don't they don't have christ so they don't understand that these things are all spiritual as a result of any kind of occultic or witchcraft practice that they have involved themselves in they attach demons to themselves you know and they end up becoming demonic possessed and oppressed because just because you are um you have demons helping you doesn't mean those same demons won't torment you oppress you harass you because satan aims to kill still and destroy so whatever these demons are helping them with their career it's not going to work out for good in the end because what matters is their soul and their soul is being tortured their soul is being tormented like they don't sleep well they are depressed many of them are suicidal as you know like many of them have committed suicide in the past um the k-pop industry and just the korean entertainment industry as a whole um actors actresses singers you know so like it's, it's spiritual it's spiritual warfare you know and they can't fight like many of them they go to psychics they go to shamans they go to doctors scientists but they don't understand that they can only get deliverance from these things by the blood of jesus the name and blood of jesus no human being can help them no shaman can help them no psychic can help them no doctor can help them only jesus can help them so with that said the image that lisa presents to the public you know she's very cute she's very sweet like when she speaks she's very talented a great dancer even a great singer actually and she just has this overall bright cherry image you know and she also kind of has this reputation of being real when she speaks like she's kind of blunt a bit like honest right so that's the cover that's what you see on the surface but then you know what happens with satanists and their cult right they relay their allegiance to satan through signs and symbols right Anyone who has done any type of research into the occult, into Satanism, into Luciferianism knows this. So I'm going to start with a few of her CFs just to let you guys see for yourself. Like, yeah, she's smiling so bright, so sweetly. But just look at the symbols that she's throwing at us. So this is the first video we'll watch together. And I've slowed them down, I've slowed the videos down, I've muted them. And then we just so that we can just focus and I'll give my commentary as needed. And I think um, the first three or four CFs I have of her are of her MAC Cosmetics CF. Okay, so that's one eye. Eye of Horus right there. One eye, eye of Horus, which is Eye of Lucifer, as we all know. Uh, did you see that? She did one eye symbolism right there. Right there. Right there. There's another one eye symbolism. One eye symbolism again.
Look at her hands. Devil horns. Right there. Devil horns. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, we've seen that already. But this is a bit different. There's a slight difference with this one. She does more symbols in here as well. One eye symbolism of Lucifer, and trust me, she knows exactly what she's doing. One eye symbolism, you have seen this part. You have seen this part. You've seen this part as well. See that? One eye symbolism. How many times does she need to do this for you guys to know that none of this is a coincidence? This is how they express their allegiance to Satan. Okay? Eye of Horus is Eye of Lucifer. Okay? Lucifer, yes. The God of this world. You see that? You see that? I have Lucifer again. Okay. And Devil Horns. Look at how sweet she looks and innocent. But that's the deception. That's the deception. I think we this is uh, yeah, it just repeats that. Okay, so let's go to the next one. See that one eye symbolism right there? She covers one eye. See, eye for us with the V. Just emphasizing any type of emphasis on one eye is eye for us. So the V on that one eye is out for us as well. So called peace symbol, which actually is peace for the Antichrist. The, the peace that the Antichrist brings, not <laughs> it's not the peace of Christ. You have one eye symbolism, vow silence, the Masonic vow silence, one eye symbolism again, and another one eye symbolism but with 666. 666 hand gesture. So the one eye is zoomed in with 666. That is no coincidence, guys. There's no coincidence in this at all. So you zoomed in. Okay. Another one eye, eye of Horus. Okay. And this is a totally different company, you know. That's just making all the symbols in. And just so you know, even in their everyday lives, like 
these 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 idols and these celebrities they make these hand signs and gestures like if they're even at home in their rooms whatever because they know what they are doing you know they, they are part of it once you reach a certain level of success in this world you have to pledge your allegiance to satan like you have to serve lucifer knowingly you know you have to knowingly serve lucifer and give your will over to lucifer and at that point you have a choice you know some people um the deeper they get into it they do end up selling their soul you know which requires blood sacrifices and all these things and yes selling your soul is a real thing that happens in the music industry and in the entertainment industry people do sell their soul to the devil because they don't know that jesus can redeem them they don't know that the devil doesn't own anybody's souls because these are spiritual principles right once you give your soul to the devil he has every legal right over you because you've signed yourself in blood to him you've done rituals you've done everything and there are steps to it that's why the devil like um he lets people go through phases and the higher you go through in those phases or those degrees or stages the more the truth is revealed to you that it's lucifer you know lucifer is the one that is wooing you you know to reach the top of this ladder reach the top of this pyramid and that is why like if you love this world and the things of this world you will surrender to lucifer because you want the gold you want the wealth you want the riches you want the fame you want the beauty and trust me these demons lucifer and his demons they have the ability to give people demonic allure demonic charisma that when you look at them you can't take your eyes off them you are charmed by their talents you are charmed by their beauty it's a spiritual stronghold over their fans that is no coincidence you know it's all demonic like but you just think oh it's just that uh, these people are just, they just have this strong appeal no 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 the demons helping them with all the witchcraft and spells and the rituals that they have done in submitting their will to these demons and to lucifer they've placed spells on you and they've used their influence to absorb your energy with their witchcraft and that's why you're under their spell you're under their stronghold they're spell bound you know that is why this celebrity worship this idol worship is so dangerous spiritually and I won't stop speaking about it because it is the Lord that leads me to speak out about this, especially in K-pop because I was deep in K-pop and God knows how my heart was consumed with this idolatry, you know? And that's why God has put his love in my heart to want others, you know? Even though others may not see it as the love of God, but it's the love of God that compels me to warn you guys, expose these things and urge you guys to come out of it in the name of Jesus. Because it's only Jesus that can set you free and only Jesus that can set these people free. And I also encourage you guys to pray for these idols and all these celebrities as we all know. You know, but that doesn't mean I'll sugarcoat the truth. I will still tell you the truth of what they are doing and what they are involved in. Just because they are smiling sweetly in your faces doesn't mean that they are not serving Lucifer. Doesn't mean that they are not satanists or witches. You cannot reach a certain success level in this world no matter what industry you're in it doesn't even have to be entertainment politics technology industry whatever it is without serving lucifer he is the god of this world little g god of this world okay only those that are holy spirit filled and holy spirit led are able to resist the seduction of evil that the enemy has sent out to this world because evil is very seductive that's why People are attracted to paranormal things, you know, mystical things, mystical books, um, movies about witchcraft or sorcery, Harry Potter series, and things like this. They love things that are fantasy, things that are mystical, things that are ethereal, you know, things that seem magical. Because the devil packages these things as something good and something appealing and something that will help you to be a better you a stronger you a smarter you a more beautiful you and all these things and you'll be a better version of yourself which is all lies but of course the devil is not going to tell you these are lies and he will use all these beautiful talented celebrities who have given themselves over to demonic possession you know they've given themselves over to serve lucifer because this world is their paradise this world is where they want they want worship they want everything that they think they can ever get in life because they don't believe in the true god so they're like we might as well live our best lives now and if satan is offering us our best lives now we'll take it 
you know, will take it because Satan doesn't appear to them at the first as this dragon or this half goat, half human being with horns or whatever. He appears to them as a beautiful spirit and so do the demons at the first, you know. But the deeper they get into the occult or into satanism or into witchcraft, like I said, the truth will always be revealed because Satan wants your sincere loyalty. And he can only get your sincere loyalty when you know that it is him you're serving. So when you know it is really him you're serving and you still serve him, you are not resisting, you are not trying to come out, you are not trying to seek God, the true God, Jesus Christ, to deliver you from him. And you just serve him like that with no resistance, with no anything. That is what he loves. And that is, those people, those types of people make the most powerful, powerful vessels of demons. Because they surrendered wholly. You know, so let's look at this one. Look at her. Look at her, the devil horns. You see that? Look at her hand. Okay. One eye symbolism. Okay. Look at how alluring she looks. The truth is I feel so sorry for them because they don't understand they are under God's judgment all these things that they're doing unless you come to Christ if you don't know Christ they are under God's judgment because everyone in this world is a sinner you know it's only when you come to Christ and call on his name for salvation that you're saved you're saved under the name and blood of Jesus so the people that don't have Christ are going to be judged during a period called the great tribulation and this takes place after the rapture these people will be left behind if they don't get saved before the rapture happens they will be left behind and god's judgment will be poured on them because god has to punish wickedness god hates sin he's a righteous god he's holy you know he has to punish sin and many people like to say oh i'm a good person i'm a good person the bible says there is none that doeth good, but sinneth not. No matter how good of a person you think you are, or you think another person is, they are not without sin, and you are not without sin. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You need to repent and believe the gospel, and then God will forgive you of all your sins. You know, it's a spiritual thing that happens when you believe on Christ by faith, you know, and you accept him into your heart. He forgives you. So in God's eyes, you are forgiven of all your sins and his wrath is removed over you. So I just feel bad for these people because the great tribulation is no joke. You know, I've talked about that in so many of my videos. It will be the worst time in human history and these people are leading you straight into worship of the Antichrist. Worship of the Antichrist. So... Um, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of Lisa where she's throwing up the same hand signs and gestures, you know. And of course, there's far more than this more videos, more clips, more interviews, more photo shoots, and everything. But just this few, just to give you 
an impression that what you see on the outside is not the truth. The truth is hidden in symbols and signs and witchcraft language. You know, that's why the occult means hidden, hidden. Occult means hidden. So they hide in the dark the truth of what they're doing. Now, this CF we see here, she works on this CF with Bam Bam, right? And um, this is a Lisa focus, so I'm just going to focus more on Lisa. And in this first one, this first clip of it, it's just Lisa appearing in the video. So this is the beast system, you know, this commercial that she's in. Is about the beast system and the beast technology because this is the technology that will be used by the Antichrist to control the whole world, you know. So let's watch. So that's Lisa, Lisa's holographic self. That's not the real Lisa, that's her digital avatar. Everyone is tracked. Everyone is tracked. Here you see, as above, so below. You see, occultic. That's straight up demonic, guys. Straight up demonic. So that was her real self and her digital self that you saw. He alternated. And you know, like I've talked about many times, that technology is related to witchcraft and sorcery, like believe it or not, you know. I have a whole playlist exposing this fact right how these people that make this technology get their knowledge of this technology from demons straight up from the spirit realm straight up so um i'll put the playlist in the pinned comments as well the whole playlist as well as my k-pop playlist in the pinned comments but let's carry on You know these three e, these three dashes um, that you see in next, they mean six six six. I explained this in my Naruto video where I expose Naruto. These three dashes mean six six six. Let's carry on. So she's in the digital world, smart world, technology, the future, quote unquote future. Where everything is digital, everything to the point where it will be hard for you to tell what's real and what's fake. The devil wants humanity to be distracted to stupor. The technology will influence every aspect of humanity, every aspect of human living, from your jobs to your habits, home life. Everyone will be connected in a hive mind because everybody will have the chip, either in your right hand or your forehead. And I know that that certainly reminds you guys of something that the Bible talks about, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the one that she has with Bam Bam. So you already see right off the bat, right off the bat, <laughs> right off the bat, they are telling you. First of all, your cult principle of duality, right? Light and darkness. And light and dark 
which is good and evil are equal because there has to be a balance of good and evil that's why satanists believe in being great philanthropists they give huge donations to charity they do good works on the outside while on the inside they're eating babies they're eating feces they're doing human sacrifices they're sacrificing virgins they're sacrificing their loved ones they're sacrificing their best friends they're sacrificing their neighbors they're sacrificing animals they're eating and drinking human waste believe it or not and it's just vow so as much evil as they do they try to do as much good because they need to balance it out this is all occultic and demonic and not only that when this whole thing creates an eclipse which it will as you see that is symbolic of the rise of the antichrist you know because in the occult they believe like when all the planets align and everything and there's a full eclipse when all the planets align that the antichrist will be revealed you see that this is also in exos video as i pointed out in um um, one of my videos, um, I think the video talking about Kai, my second one, I pointed it out in Exo Mama's video, their music video. You also see this visualization of this principle of the planets aligning and everything. It's all occultic. It's all occultic. And now, as we see in this video, this forms into the Eye of Lucifer, the Eye of Horus, and this is in Lisa's eye, right? So this is all Luciferian. This is all demonic. Let's carry on. And also, it also um, represents the sun god and moon goddess, which Bam Bam and Lisa are supposed to be in this video. So Lisa is supposed to be the goddess, the moon goddess, and Bam Bam is the moon god. So it represents both of them as well. So the the astral project into the future when one that once that happens, you see. So. The, the sun god and the sun goddess are looking at the future that they want they want to see with their so-called technology you see that this is quantum technology right here that you're seeing so it's the quantum technology that is going to be used by the antichrist so this room full of mirrors is also occultic you know um, it involves channeling demons in the occult, they use room full of mirrors to channel demons and to summon them into this dimension. And it also represents multiple altars. So what we're seeing also here is the multiple altar egos of Lisa and Bam Bam because they are demonic possessed. Like that's what it means. Once you have any type of altar, you are demon possessed. And just so you know, like, you know, people can say, oh, but they are not the ones making the video. Let me tell you something. In the entertainment industry in particular, right the same demons that possess these people and are walking through them that is the entertainers are the same demons that are walking through the editors the writers the music producers that is why everything orchestrates as into one cohesive visual representation of what lucifer is trying to say or what the occult elite is trying to say because lucifer is also working through the occult elite through the illuminati which is now further down working through either the government or the music companies and the producers and the idols so it all trickles down right but it's essentially from the highest human echelon is the illuminati you know as well well in present age so satan through the illuminati and their connections because they have a stronghold over the entire world right now satan is the one using them to push his demonic agendas of transhumanism transgender of blasphemy against the true god and all these things are just evil evil that the bible warns against right so that is why when you see like their music videos very easily well it's easy for those that have discernment because we have the holy spirit when you see their music videos it is most of the time what they've already done in the occult what they've done in secret so that's why you can see a new artist that was unknown before they blow up and suddenly the music video that makes them blow up they're either paying homage to a demon or paying homage to lucifer either by doing a sacrifice in the video 
or going through some type of initiation in the video because it's what they've done in reality in secret so how did the writers of the video know to put that into the script how did the editors know to edit it in such a way where one eye is hidden and the idols in the video or the, the celebrities whoever know to cover one eye because it's the same demonic spirits walking through them all inspiring them all and making everything a cohesive unit so when they all come together and each person plays their role it all fits it fits like a glove so you can't say oh the idols don't know what they're doing like you can't excuse them because if you're serving lucifer willingly you do know what you're doing you know and if you do reach a certain level of success in this world you have to serve lucifer if you don't believe that then you don't know the world you're living in they are delusional you know i don't mean that in a harsh way but it's the truth like you are willingly blind to the reality of the world that you live in because the reality is that this world is spiritual like the things happening that we see in the reality are happening first in the spirit you know so if your soul is not with christ if you're not blood bought if you're not bought with the blood of jesus and under his cover his protection his leadership if he's not your lord and savior satan is the one that's going to be your lord and savior whether you know it or not or whether you believe it or not you know so for these people that most of them have willingly given their wills to satan willingly invited demons into their heart because they think that these demons will help them in their career to live their best lives in this world and be as successful as they can be and have as much fame as much money as much success as much worship as they can whatever their hearts desire so everything will work out you know but there is a plan there is an agenda so the same demons will influence you know their stylists to dress them a certain way will influence their company to invest in them for certain things for them to be trained in this and this and this and you know and like i've said before i've said it many times satan is a hard taskmaster very hard taskmaster he works these idols and these celebrities to the bone you know they don't rest they don't sleep and many of them are depressed and suicidal like it's spiritual like he ends up torturing them harassing them you know things happening in their lives as they try to go about their daily lives which i'll talk about later after this video but let's carry on so they are running through this hall of mirrors altars altars and more altars mk ultra altars and now you see you know i've told you before the digital world is a spiritual dimension so now they are connecting to that digital world that spiritual dimension through the mirror because the mirror is a portal that is why they can summon like in their call they summon demons through the mirrors like that is one of the ways to summon demons like you can do it also through water and glass you can summon demons very easily in those things so his real self is connecting to his digital self which is on the other side of the mirror which is the spiritual dimension you see that the mirror shatters and they are able to go into that dimension and of course this mirror shattering also represents you know the breaking of the mind like when a person is programmed under mk ultra the mind shatters because of the torture and everything that they have to go through you know electrocution and so many things because this is all part of the package like you have to suffer in satanism you have to be humiliated you have to suffer and mk ultra is just one of the many ways it's not the only way and it's not even the worst way you know <laughs> it's just one of the many ways you know they have underground bases where they have demons demons the mk ultra at least is still humans torturing them but you have these people like wait if you want to go deeper and this 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 all these things i'm telling you this is years of research i'm just summarizing in all these videos like all these videos i made for the past seven months on this topic it's years of research you know even when i was in like in the k-pop industry i knew all these things but because i was lukewarm i wasn't i didn't care my heart was hard and i didn't care i've explained this before like once you're lukewarm your discernment is low you know and the devil is able to have 
a huge stronghold and blind you from the truth. So even though I knew the truth, because I was in disobedience to God's will for my life, I was blinded. You know, God gives grace to the humble. If you humble yourself before God and repent, He will remove that blindness from you. That's if you are saved. You have to get saved first though. You have to get saved. And then if you are struggling with anything, you have to come to God to help you and deliver you from whatever it is you are struggling with. Whatever one day the enemy has put you on, it is God that will deliver you if you are saved and you are struggling. But you have to humble yourself. If you are prideful and you are giving excuses for your sins, and you are saying, no, I am not such a bad person. I won't be deceived. I won't be... Like when you come to Christ and are living in disobedience, you can't give excuses for your disobedience. You must totally repent in all humility. Like this is God we are talking about. You have to humble yourself and repent because the truth is you know nothing. You are just dust. The Bible says we were made from dust. God made us from dust. He formed man from the dust of the earth. So you know nothing. Who are you dust to think that you can outsmart the devil? You cannot outsmart Satan. He's an eternal being. He's immortal. Like He cannot die, you know. That's why he's going to, when God cast him in the lake of fire, he's going to burn in the lake of fire forever. Like, he's immortal, so he's highly intelligent. Furthermore, he was created with wisdom. Like, the, the Bible tells us when the devil was created, he was created with wisdom and with beauty and with intelligence. But once Satan fell from God's grace because of his rebellion, his wisdom became corrupt wisdom. Do you understand? So it became a perverted wisdom. That's why the devil is very cunning. He's very crafty. He's very smart, but in a wicked way, in a wicked way, in the worst kind of evil way, you know, which is opposite of Christ. Whereas godly wisdom, true wisdom is godly wisdom and it can only come from Christ. And it can only come from the fear of the Lord because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So if you don't have a relationship with Christ, you cannot love him because how can you love somebody you don't know? That's not real love. So you have to have a relationship with Christ where you immerse in his word, you pray to him, pray spiritual, you pray to him. And when you pray to him spiritually, you're connecting with God. You're directly in his presence, you know, because Jesus, through his blood, we enter the presence of God the Father. So once you are praying you have a direct connection with god you know and he's able to hear you hear your prayers and everything especially if you have no bitterness in your heart like you're not holding on to hatred unforgiveness if you're holding on to on to these things god will not hear your prayers because that's why the bible says forgive us our sins as we forgive all who sinned against us because things like bitterness and anger and unrighteousness like disobedience you know, they hinder your prayers and they also hinder your blessings. You know, like anyway, I'm not trying to go too deep into that, but I'm just speaking as the Holy Spirit leads me, which is what I do whenever God leads me to make a video. I let his Holy Spirit speak through me because I don't know who needs to hear whatever part of the video I'm speaking on. You know, whatever it is I'm speaking on, there's someone that needs to hear what I'm saying, you know, to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Okay, so let's carry on. So this is the future, this is the spiritual dimension of technology, the digital world, they are in there now. So the two have become one. And you know I also explained this in my Esper Expose videos. So she, look, um, Bam Bam, it first starts off with, it starts off with the real Lisa now being directly connected with the digital Bam Bam, right? His hologram. And in real life, they have this technology where you can feel the hologram and you can touch the hologram and you can, it's deep. Like you guys can research it, just type in, you know, hologram that you can touch and feel or whatever, you know, and it will come up in the search result. They have that technology now. Like it's no more sci-fi, it's no more anything. Anyway, you know, like all these movies, predictive programming anyway, they say the truth in movies. So when you see these movies, with all these futuristic things and you can do all these things, it's because they... That's what they plan to release in the future, and that is the plan they, they plan to unleash on the world in real life. Whatever the predictive programming is, is what they know is going to take place in real life. You know, like the 9-11 and everything, the C-Virus, everything. So, here, 
It started out with the real Lisa being able to contact the digital Bam Bam. Now it's real Bam Bam being able to connect and contact digital Lisa. So they've merged the two worlds. They've merged the spiritual dimension and the physical dimension. You see that? And here they are telling us your digital experience has no limits because they've merged it. So there's no barrier. There's no boundary anymore. You see that? So you see that? He can touch digital Lisa, right? So this technology is here, guys, like for real, for real. This is the technology that the Antichrist is going to have. And even more, like more technology than you can even imagine, like better technology. Because at that time, after the rapture, demons will no longer need to be summoned, right? Because the barrier will be lifted. God is going to allow evil to reign. So they will no longer need to be summoned in rituals, through occultic practices, through new age practices, through false religious practices. They will be able to just manifest um, into this realm and walk on this realm. But they are going to present themselves as aliens. And they will present themselves as different species of aliens, different races of aliens, and so on and so forth. Let's carry on. So imagine having the image of the Antichrist, um, or, because the Antichrist is going to be the ultimate celebrity, right? You know, I've said this time and again, all this celebrity and idol worship is a setup to worship the Antichrist. If you are worshiping idols and celebrities, you easily, very easily worship the Antichrist because he's going to be the most handsome person, the most intelligent, the most mystical, the most seductive, the most charming, the, the richest. You know, the most brilliant, like he'll be everything, the ultimate perfect man, the ultimate superman, you know, the ultimate peak of humanity. That's why his number is 666, because the number of man is 6, because man was created on the 6th day, right? Now, the, no, the Antichrist is 3 times 6, so 666, he's 3 times humanity, like he's the ultimate peak of humanity, right? So he's going to be, you know, the best type of human the most perfect that's according to worldly standards the most perfect human according to the carnal mind you know and that's why the whole world as the bible prophesies we worship the beast because they won't be able to resist his charm his deception you know he's going to be speaking with lying spirits he's going to do magical things you know the book the bible calls them lying signs and wonders with both technology and demonic powers like it's it's very very huge you know so it's a huge deception so if you can this is just bamba's hologram imagine if people are being sold that oh you can have access to your favorite idols by being able to connect with their digital avatar their digital self and you can even hug them and you know because the human's mind is perverse people want to kiss their idols they want to sleep with their idols they'll be like ah if i can sleep with my idols i can marry my idol i can do anything of course they will love this type of technology you know, and just imagine like how easy it would be for the image of the beast to be able to read the whole world. You know, the image of the Antichrist be able to speak to everyone across the world through via holographic technology, as I explained in my video titled The Role of Technology in End Times Events. You know, the Antichrist revealed, so you guys can check that out. But yeah, like it's a huge, huge agenda, and as we see in this promo, in this commercial. They are using your favorite idols to push this demonic agenda. So these are the people that the occult elite are going to use to lead you into worship of the Antichrist. And you are following these people instead of following Jesus. And you cannot follow both. You are either all in with God or you are all in with the devil. You cannot be half or you cannot be lukewarm. God will spit you out of his mouth if you are lukewarm. There is no middle ground. God God loves you with such a fierce passion and his love is not lukewarm. His love is a consuming zeal. He loves you with every fiber of his being to the point where he sent his son to die for you. Do you know that God didn't only die for those people that loved him. He died for his enemies. All those Pharisees and Sadducees that persecuted him and hated them. He died for them too. Anybody that repents and accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior is forgiven. So even though they were Pharisees, no matter how big they were, whoever it was, if you repent and believe on Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he will forgive you of all your sins. All your sins. Even if Hitler repented, do you know God would have forgiven him? Even if Aleister Crowley repented as wicked 
as he was. And we all know that that man was utterly, utterly possessed. If he had repented, you know God would have forgiven him as well. That is the power in the forgiveness of God. The power in the blood of Jesus to forgive sins. You know? And that's why the devil hates humanity so much. Because he cannot deny that power. Anybody that comes to Christ, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, if you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, according to Romans 10, 9 to 10, believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you are forgiven of all your sins. And Satan cannot take that away from you. You know? So, because he cannot take that away from you, he tries to attack your faith. He tries to break your faith. He tries to distract you, deceive you. Uh, because once you fall into any type of deception and disobey God's commandment or his will for your life, you become bound spiritually. Because Satan keeps trying to set up believers, cause them to fall into fornication, lusting after people, sleeping with, you know, People they are not supposed to be sleeping with, they are only because marriage is the only godly institution where sex is allowed, you know. If you have sex outside of marriage, it's fornication, you know, it's adultery. So that's just one example, but like any type of thing that the devil, your spouse, your creatures keep you bound, you know. And since I'm using um, sex as an example, I'll just continue. When you sleep with other people that are not soul ties in the spirit realm right demonic soul ties like it's a very deep spiritual stronghold to sleep with someone that is not your spouse and you're bringing in demons into yourself that that person has from sleeping with whoever that person has already slept with like all the demons that possess that person and possess all the people that the person slept with will also possess you because it's all spiritual that's why marriage is spiritual you know, it's a spiritual institution ordained by God himself and God is a spirit. So God ordained that spiritual institution between a man and a woman, not a man and a man, not a woman and a woman, but a man and a woman so that they can reproduce and multiply and fill the earth just as God commanded in Genesis. That's what God has always wanted for man to multiply and fill the earth, you know, and worship him in the beauty of holiness. God has always wanted that fellowship with humanity where he walks with them in the garden. He walks with them and has a relationship where he knows you. He talks to you like a friend, even though he's your father, but he has he, his love is of such a kind where he's also your friend. You know, it's very intimate relationship. But Satan is always aiming to prevent that. Prevent everything God wills for man. Prevent everything God does. Like, it's serious. So, if you're looking at these people, look at this commercial, and they're selling you this technology, you know, they're basically luring you and inviting you to the beast system, the world of the Antichrist. You know? So, this is a huge end times deception, guys. While well, in the last days, you know, these are the last days we're living in. It's not time to be distracted no time to be fooling around playing games with god because the devil is certainly not playing games with you and neither is god you're either on the lord side or you're on the devil side there is no in between there is no in between if you're lukewarm you're still on the devil side because the devil is the one influencing you you know keeping you blind until you repent you humble yourself and repent then god will remove the skills blinding your eyes and the veil of darkness blinding your mind and then you can continue to walk in the will of God for your life once again. That is how merciful God is. But you must never think that you can abuse God's grace or mercy. You know? You have to fear God. Let's carry on. Welcome to the future of the Antichrist, more like. <laughs> Not just in the future. It's deep, guys. It's deep. And we have a world that is addicted to technology, in love with technology. Always wanting the latest games, the latest upgrade of their phones, the latest upgrade of their cars, the latest upgrade of their video games. 
everything in the latest upgrade upgrade up latest version and they keep coming up iphone 1 iphone 2 iphone 3 iphone 4 iphone 5 iphone 13 like it's no coincidence all this vr technology and augmented reality anyway i've talked about all of them in my series just what that series guys it's all for this end times agenda don't be deceived That's why the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things of the world. Using your favorite idols to deceive you, your favorite celebrities. Okay, so that's the end of this video. So, um, now, um, I want to play a couple of videos about Lisa talking about her encounter with um, sleep paralysis. Um, she suffers from sleep paralysis and she also hears things. And you know, when you're like in contact with the demonic realm, like I said, like once you're doing witchcraft and all these things and you become possessed like the more you submit your will um, to demons and to the devil um, they begin to harass you in numerous ways and I just found it so interesting because in my dream about Blackpink you know I said Lisa and Jenny were the ones to um, really be more outspoken even though it was all the members suffering from spiritual warfare, spiritual attack from the devil and from the demons but the most vocal were Jenny and Lisa and even though in this clip, like the member said, it was only Lisa, Lisa and Jesus the most. But I personally believe like it's all of them because you know I just believe the dreams God gives me concerning these idols because I feel like that it's just for me to see and be able to warn people, you know. Because um I never pray for these dreams and honestly I prefer not to have them. But I don't question God's will for my life, like it's just the way it is, and this is the ministry He has given me and I have to do his will for my life even if people hate me for you know speaking about their idols exposing their idols whatever i have to obey god i have to obey god above man you know and continue to warn people of the truth um the love of christ compels me to speak the truth in love and speak the truth with boldness and the power of the holy spirit and it's up to you you know to take it up to god in prayer to do bible study for yourself to prayerfully research all these things for yourself you know Salvation is individual, so I cannot walk your walk for you. I cannot grow your faith for you. You have to grow in faith and grow in your love for Christ and grow in obedience, you know, and grow in knowledge of his will for your life and knowledge of his word and all that. Okay, so let's watch the videos. <웃음> 저 그때 지수 언니 방에 있었는데 언니 방문 열려 있었어요. 그리고 채영이 방에도 문 열려 있었어요. 근데 지수 언니 방이랑 채영이 방 붙어 있어요 방이. 근데 언니가 이제 세수하러 화장실 들어가는 걸 근데 저는 언니 방에서 그냥 핸드폰 하고 있었는데 근데 이제 언니가 다 씻고 방에 들어왔는데 누가 아하. 갑자기 지나간 거예요. 대박. 거실, 거실 쪽으로. Uh -huh. 그래서 제가 채영인 줄 알고. 그래서, 채영아! 어디 가? 너야? 이랬어요, 제가. 채영이가 답을 했어요. 어, 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 어! 왜? 이랬어요. 뭔가 이상한 거예요. 근데, 아, 거실 가, 갔구나. 근데 저도 뭐, TV 보고 싶어서. 채영이가 만약에 거실 갔었으면 저도 나가려고 했었거든요. 근데? 갑자기 채영이가 막 목소리가 뭔가 거실 쪽 아닌 거예요. 그래서 제가 채영아 너 어디야? 이랬는데 채영이가 내 방인데? 이런 거예요. 그래서 어? 그럼 아까 누구였지? 그래서 제가 바로 언니한테 얘기를 했어요. 어, 언니 저 봤어요. 이렇게 봤다고. 그래서 언니가 네 방으로 간거 아니야? 이렇게 장난을 쳤어요. 언니가. 근데 그 다음날 가위 눌렸다. 가위 눌린 거예요. 제가 자고 있는데 
자고 있는데 그냥 딱 떴는데 가위 눌린 거예요 못 움직이는데 근데 제 앞에 어떤 남자가 제 침대 위에 앉아있어요 그때 가는 귀신 그니까 진짜 무서워 진짜 무서웠어요 진짜 불쌍 아직도 있어 설마 어떻게 이사야 응? 오늘 달곰이랑 같이 잘게 안돼 <웃음> 근데 언니도 가위 되게 많이 눌렸는데 달곰이 들어오고 나서 음. 많이 안 눌렸대요 그쵸? 많이 좋아졌죠? 그 대신 달곰이가 눌리는 거 같다니까? 달곰이 맨날 그냥 꿈 어. 아니야? 아니야 그러니까 내가 막 꿈꾸는 거 아니야? 야 일어나! 막 가위 눌렸다 야 핸드 막 일어나 이렇게 일어나 이래 근데 내가 막 계속 안 일어나다가 이렇게 일어나 그 다음에 <laughs> so I found it very interesting because that's exactly what Lisa was telling me in my dream that you know she was being harassed by demons and suffering from sleep paralysis and astral projection attacks because you know in witchcraft they practice astral projection like satanism they practice astral projection and so eventually the more you submit your will to these demons they begin to take over as you get possessed right so you eventually lose control of your ability to astral project like it's no more you astral projecting to where you think you want to be astral projected to it's the demons making that decision in you and through you you know you can watch my video about that dream but i was just like wow wow i was just surprised to find that out but at the same time, not surprised because I already believe what God shows me about these people, you know. And like I said, it's the love of Christ that just compels me to keep warning you guys. And because you guys have no idea, like when I make all these videos on my channel, it's not easy for me to make, like to do all this research and edit the video. Anybody that edits videos knows how cumbersome it is. Hours of editing, hours of researching, hours of prayer hours of bible study hours of seeking the lord for guidance because you have to be led by the spirit of god when you're doing his will for your life you know and that way it is the joy of the lord that will be your strength because this whole thing is very tiring you're looking at a lot of darkness to expose darkness you have to look at it and it really takes the spirit and grace of god to be able to withstand it because with it comes attack from the enemy because you're exposing the enemy right so the devil will attack you even more you know but when you are spirit-filled and spirit-led, you have the armor of God on. The full armor. So I'm always protected and I just give God all the glory for that. God protects me all the time. Because the devil attacks me powerfully. But I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So once you have on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the belt of truth, your feet shattered with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You are solid, you are good to go because the armor of God is Christ himself, you know? So it's just very, very awesome. God protects us all, you know, as we're spirit-filled and just obeying his will, abiding under the shadow of his wings. And the Bible talks about not having any fellowship with your fruitful works of darkness, but reproving them. Some version says exposing them, some version says rebuking them. So we must under the leading and guidance of the holy spirit expose darkness but if god has not called that to be your ministry don't do it because you will get attacked and if your faith is weak you can even fall away from the faith and be like god doesn't care about me because if god cares about me why am i being attacked this much why is the devil attacking me why am i losing my job why does everybody hate me why do i not have friends why am i still not married why am i poor why am i broke why am i ugly why am i fat why am i you know you be condemning yourself and you just forget that God loves you and God has already bought you in his blood. He has already proven his love by dying for you on the cross. That is love, guys. Dying for your enemies is love. Jesus died for his enemies. He died for people that hated him, that sinned against him. Because the whole world sinned against God. You know that, right? But because God loves us so much, he sent his son to die for us. So, we are now redeemed in his blood. But back to, you know, the topic. And I, like I, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
I wanted to show you guys some more examples of um, other people, just a couple more examples of other celebrities that throw up the same satanic signs and satanic symbols. So the first person is um, this Nilofa woman who is a Malaysian entertainer, an actress, you know, philanthropist, businesswoman, um, talk show host, and she's Muslim, right? So just to show you that it's not just like people that are atheists that don't believe in any God or people that claim to be Christians and they don't actually serve God, they serve Lucifer. But people that claim to be Muslims, people that claim um, to be, you know, followers of who they consider to be their true God, in this case being Allah, but they are still throwing up the Illuminati sign though. <laughs> they are still throwing up their cult symbols with their hijab and everything. It's deep. See that? The V sign, the eye the of Horus. You see that? These people, like, don't be deceived by their outer appearance, you know? Looking beautiful on the outside, doing good works, seeming nice when they speak and how they present themselves, bubbly, positive. But look at the signs and symbols and gestures. And I've not even gotten into, you know, color. I didn't even talk about like color programming or dual programming and all the other things that go on, really. I just wanted to focus more on the hand gestures and symbols, the signs, you know, the more visible ones. I've already talked about dual programming. In my ESPA videos and color programming also and you know more about MK Ultra and I put some links there that could help you guys get started in your research but it's up to you like don't wait for me or other believers to do research for you like you can do research yourself you have a brain that God gave you go and look for the sources yourself the way we did because it's, it's hard work research is hard work and time and people are lazy that's the truth they're lazy. They don't want to study the Bible for themselves. They want everybody to explain it to them. They don't want to do research for themselves. They want everybody to tell them how to do the research. Where to, like, do you understand the hours that go into doing research? Prayers. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. So you go and do your research. Be diligent and pray. Pray about it so that God, it is God that will guide you into the research. So you'll be able to filter what's true from what's error because... There is a lot of research out there that is also compiled by New Agers, but they are worshipping Lucifer. But some of them consider themselves to be truthers. But they are not following the real God, you know? They are following ascended masters and aliens and their spirit guides and Mother Earth and Gaia worship and all these demonic things. If you don't have discernment, you believe their truth as well as their lies. And truth plus lies is still lies because half truths are no truth. You have to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And it's only God's spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, which is also known as the spirit of truth, that will guide you into all truth. So now you see also Lady Gaga doing the same satanic symbols. And I, of course, I don't even need to tell you how much of a satanist Lady Gaga is. Then you see these K-pop idols hanging out with these American celebrities who have sold their soul, who are satanists to the core. And you think that these K-pop idols did not do the same thing. Because why? Why? Because they are young. Let me tell you. Many of them even sell their souls when they are young. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Listen. Satan chose Korea for a very, very, very good reason. The Koreans, they are always... You see, Christ gives us hope. And if you don't have that hope in you, you don't have God's love, God's hope in your heart. You need something else to fill that void. And the Korean society is very competitive, very competitive in their education, in their entertainment. They want to be the best at everything, the brightest, the richest, the strongest, the, the goodest, quote unquote. Like they want to be the one saying that they, they gave the most donations to this cause and they care about the poor, they care about this. Do you understand? They want to be good and the best according to the world standard. And nothing is a coincidence in this world. After American pop and you have Bollywood, you now have K-pop. Before K-pop, it was J-pop and C-pop, right? Then K-pop just suddenly boom. But the thing is, what J-pop and C-pop accomplished, K-pop was able to accomplish in half the time with better results, with more, with more global outreach. And that is because of the demons working in the industry through these idols. Because they were chosen for these end times. Satan knew that they, 
were the ones that he'll be able to use to read the world. You know, Satan, like I said, he's very intelligent. And the only intelligence that surpasses his intelligence is godly wisdom, the wisdom of God. We are mere dust, we are mortals, we know nothing as we think we know it. So if you don't have God's spirit to lead you and guide you and teach you things, you will easily be deceived by the enemy, even if you think you are not or you think you can't. You'll be easily deceived. So we have to continuously humble ourselves before God and trust by faith that his spirit will teach us all things. And God will always give grace to the humble. He resists the proud. God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. This is what the Bible says. So, on that note, guys, I hope that you have the boldness to continue to warn others about the dangers of K-pop. That they are no. into... This don't industry they need to know the truth of the industry so the call you know covertly and overtly satanic you know so you now have to also lead them to the ultimate truth of whom is christ you know christ is the only one that can fill that void because people like to say oh this this group and this idol Help me to not kill myself. Help me to not commit depression. Help me. And they are giving the glory to these idols instead of to God. No, it is God that helped you to not kill yourself. And it is God that caused you to not take that pill or whatever. It is God. Don't give glory to these idols. You cannot, and you cannot say God used these idols to bring you out of depression, to bring you. God cannot use evil to create something good. Like he cannot use an evil thing. Like these people, they are in an evil industry doing an evil work serving an evil being they are doing an evil work and serving an evil being god will not use evil to deliver anyone he cannot use sinful people or sinful things to deliver anyone you know they are not saved they are not saved they don't know christ so you cannot say god used them to save you from this or save you from that he did god did not use them god saved you himself without them it is god that stopped you without them but the devil wants you to think it's them because the truth is once God delivers you out of K-pop idolatry or, or depression, it's gone. That spirit is gone. Like what happened to me, as you, if, you, if you watch my testimony, I was delivered from depression. You know, depression was one of the reasons I uh, fell into K-pop. You know, I too was having suicidal thoughts, even though I was saved. I was a Christian. And I was baffled. I'm like, why am I having suicidal thoughts? But the thing is, I kept going to K-pop for relief because I thought too that they were helping me but that's part of the deception they give you temporary relief which is a feeling of relief but the root cause the root cause which is the demon of of depression is not delivered from you so you keep going back to them for relief but you're not delivered you're only relieved once you're delivered because god's deliverance is ultimate and thorough once he delivers you that's it but if you keep going back to them you keep putting yourself into spiritual bondage and by your own disobedience they are inviting them back into your life back into your heart so that is on you that is your own disobedience but when god delivered me from the spirit of depression and the spirit of idolatry from this k-pop i was totally and completely delivered you know and so are many other believers you can just search on youtube or whatever for their testimony and you hear as well it's amazing the power of god so don't give glory to idols when it is God that stops you from killing yourself and stops you from harming yourself or whatever the case may be. It is not, it is not these idols because these idols are working with demons. Demons are working with them and in them and through them. So don't give that glory to idols because they are also giving the glory to demons. Because of the witchcraft they've done on you, the witchcraft spells and sending of demons to your spirit man, to your minds, to your households. That is why you are spellbound and that's why you are defending them as you are. Because you are under a spell. Witchcraft is real. The demonic is real. All these performances you are watching, their music you are listening to, their, their shows, everything. It's all part of the craft. All part of the stronghold that they have on your lives. You know? So repent from K-pop idolatry. Repent. Repent from K-pop idolatry. Jesus is coming soon, okay? Jesus is coming soon to get his bride. Be ready. Be rapture ready.
be rapture ready, repent and call on his name for salvation, repent from whatever it is, even if it's not K-pop, if it's video game addiction, whatever it is, you are struggling with and you know that it has become a stronghold in your life. Take it to God and ask him to deliver you. Don't go asking people like, is this a sin? Don't come asking me if you dye your hair pink, is that a sin? If you dye your hair red, is that a sin? If you play this video game, is that a sin? Ask God. I'm not God. Okay? God should be the first person you ask. Stop going to humans. I've made so many videos about this. Stop relying on people. Go to God first in everything. You know, go to God first. Study his word. Your questions are answered in his word already. Then as you continue to grow in his word and in obedience, if it is his will, he will lead you to people to help explain like certain passages of the scripture to you or whatever the case may be, any doctrine or whatever the case may be. But you should go to him first. Don't go to Google. Don't go to humans and say, what should I do? What should I do? Go to God. That is why he's God. Because this is how people begin to rely on other human beings. And that's so dangerous. That's why we have over 36,000 denominations. People are confused and divided. Rely on God and follow Christ alone. Listen, we're in the final days, final moments. Jesus is coming anytime for his bride. So talk to Christ now. Seek him now. You know, and do his will for your life. So that God gets all the glory. He created you in this generation for his purpose, for his glory. Not for you to be wasting away, serving this world, serving yourself, serving idols, serving the devil. To serve Jesus in the beauty of holiness. 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 Jesus loves you so much. He gave his life for you. He suffered so much when he walked on this earth. And he's calling you now. He's calling you to repent now. He's calling you to humble yourself now. He's calling you to seek him now. You know, because he wants you to be in his kingdom. He created you for himself. He loves you so much. Please turn to him in everything. Turn to God. Trust only God. Don't trust any human being for anything. Trust God alone. Okay? Love you all. God bless you all. Till next time. I'll see you in the clouds. Bye.